Amen. Give the Lord another hand, praise. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Amen. Now it's coming time, amen, for the word. Amen. amen. By this great pastor, amen, Elder Diedrich Johnson. Amen. But before he comes, amen, we're going to hear another selection from the choir. And then after the choir, amen, we're going to receive, amen, our eulogist. Let's say amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. A lot of you in here came out of her. You ought to be proud to be a part of this legacy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Bowed heads. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now. Lord, we thank you for everything you've done for us thus far, God. Oh, we thank you for the, our deceased mother, for how she left a legacy. She taught us not to talk too much and too fast. She taught us to be quiet when we wanted to be loud. She taught us to be encouraged when encouragement was nowhere. Lord, we want to say thank you. Somebody say thank you. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, we thank you for the mother's born, for being a supporting banner. Oh, God, we thank you right now. In all the many blessings, in Jesus' name, and the church said amen. Now, come on and give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I know you're tired and wore out, but I'm excited. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm excited. Lord that brought us from a mighty long way. And I am excited. Hallelujah. For some strange reason, I want y'all to give the mother's board a hand. Amen. Our superintendent that's in the house, give him a hand. Amen. Pastor Michael. Amen. Pastor Rayfield. Amen. For all the preachers and ministers and bishops on the roster. Amen. Lord, we want to thank you for being here. Thank you for this sad but great occasion. Amen. You know, I lost, I think, almost three people in my life in one year. My father, my grandfather, and my uncle. Amen. And it was tough. Amen. But it was tough, but it motivated me. It motivated me to the point that somebody have already said, if I live right, We'll meet again. And all this stuff we've been through, we'll understand it better by and by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We we in a race. I know we having fun and some of us going to the club and going to the church on the next day, but we in a race. Watch it, Reverend. We in a race. My God, it used to be me. I remember Mother Cameron sitting over there, amen. And the mothers mentored me, amen. They, 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 they took me in. They, they, uh, what would you call? They adopted me. Yeah, they took me in. My, my mother Willow, amen. They was all kin. The cameras. I want y'all to be praying for the cameras, amen. They my close kin, and right now I'm being a respected person. Be praying for them, amen. I remember when I was younger, my grandmother used to take me to the house meeting. A lot of y'all young folks don't know nothing about that. I must not have known nothing about it because I cried the whole time I was there. <laughs> but they would bring me in and they started singing them sad songs. And some of them would start speaking in tongues and say, what is this? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. They make me cry when I don't want to cry. Hello. They make me dance when I don't feel like dancing. What is this? Somebody say, what is this? Hallelujah. Mother Cameron used to sit over there and, and would sing her song. And, and when she would get through singing, they would, we would get the choir up and Bishop would be sitting right there. Bishop would come and be sitting right there. And she would get up and say, I want Dietrich to sing. I wasn't a good singer, but she was a good encourager. Somebody say amen. amen But she would ask me to sing And I would get up and give it my best shot And, and she would get in the spirit And she wouldn't make a lot of commotion But she would just throw a hand Hallelujah And the mothers I, If you don't have any mothers in your church Get some Go out and recruit you some real mothers Somebody that knows how to pray. Why you out there on crack cocaine and, and you the people calling you a dopehead? When you a straight up alcoholic, somebody need to pray. Somebody say pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody need to pray for you. And I don't 
don't care how much you get in trouble. I don't care how stinking you are, how bad you look. The mother still got faith. Somebody say Mother Cameron. Hallelujah. God is awesome. God is awesome. I know we're sad right now, but I tell you what I did. You might need to do what I did. I took my grandfather's obituary and stuck it up in my job. And sometimes I sit back and say, well, Bishop, I'm getting it done. And it makes me feel good all down on the inside. It makes you feel good down on the inside. I'm going to read this. Go to Jude right quick. I'm not going to be before you long. I know you're tired. Go to Jude 1 and 3 for me, please. Bro, Jeff, you want to read this for me? Amen. Jude 1 and 3. I'm not going to be before you long. But God is working right here. Right now. Somebody say right now. See, I know some of us don't have it uh, or don't have what we need to make it in this world. We claiming we got it. But like the young fella right there said a few minutes ago, he said, she was quiet and I had an attitude. It takes power. Somebody say power. Power. Jude 1 and 3. Come on. We loved. Uh-huh. When I gave all diligence mm -hmm. to write unto you of the common salvation. This is Paul talking, but we're going to talk about Mama Cameron. Come on. It was needful for me to write unto you. Yes. And exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith. Continuously contend. Somebody say continuously. <laughs> so, but wait a minute. Some of us think that when we get saved, uh -huh. that's it. Slave devils, and we're ready to go out and pray for the sick. And we were, but he said, There is another level, yes, sir. Yeah. Tell somebody another level. another level, there is another level that some of us ain't ready for. Come on down, exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith you ought to constantly challenge to be in the faith which was once delivered unto the saints, which was once. Delivered to the saints. And when I look at Mama Cameron, I want to say today, my son is going to be fortress of faith. All right. All right. All right. Fortress of faith. A strong tower. Fortress. A person or thing not susceptible to outside influence. Or disturbance. I heard the guys up here say, I don't care how big a fool we are. She wouldn't be swayed. She wouldn't be turned. She kept her foot on a solid rock. Somebody say a solid foundation. See, what was going on the outside of her didn't bother her. But what was going on the inside of her control her. Somebody say be controlled. So I began to look at Mama Cameron. She was a, a solid foundation. She was a pillar to the family. I heard that she tied somebody up to keep them from disturbing the house. She was a solid. She was a solid foundation. And I don't care what you're going through. You need somebody solid. She had an anchor. Somebody say anchor. anchor. She had the anchor of her soul. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Make it plain. Jesus was the anchor to her soul. She wouldn't be moved. She wouldn't be swayed. You couldn't persuade her to leave the faith. Somebody say it takes power. It takes power. She was an awesome woman of God. And Cameron family, I want you to be encouraged. Artists, singers came out of her. Preachers, pastors came out of her. Future preachers and future pastors is going to come out of her. You got something to be proud of. But I begin.
begin, I'm not going to be before you long. I begin to look at Mama Cameron and I begin to think that she just ran her race with all her might. And as she began to run, she wouldn't let the devil stop her in no kind of way. And I want to ask you in here, did you let the devil stop you this week? You can't continue to say you saved on Sunday and out there doing everything on Monday through Friday through Saturday. My Lord. I know y'all want to talk about Paul. I know y'all want to talk about Peter. But I want to ask you, can you live up to the standard of Mama, Mama Cameron? She done set the bar high. She done set it so high that even the people in here is woman. What kind of woman was that? But she went as far as she can go. I think the doctor usually say, well, she lost the battle. But doctors that say they lost the battle of people of faith ain't people that believe in salvation. Because when you say you done lost the battle, how can you lose a battle when Jesus said he'll give you a crown of life? It's oxymoron. It's dry water. How can you say I'm losing when I'm putting on a crown? Whoa! Somebody say Mama Cameron. But she laid down the torch. And she's waiting on somebody to pick it up. Now I know a lot of people, don't, don't, don't get me wrong mothers, y'all are lovely, y'all are not, but a lot of people don't like mothers. Because the mother's going to tell you that your skirt's too tight. A real mother. She's going to tell you this, and she's going to tell you that. She's not trying to tell you something that's going to hurt your feelings. She just don't want to give away the milk without buying the car. Glory to his name. My, my, my. Somebody say a real mother. A real mother. See, when, when a mother pats you all the time, when you right or wrong, she ain't going to help you. But when a mother tell you just what you need to know, tell somebody she loves you. So now she done laid down the torch. And this is a torch that you have to pick up with both hands. My Lord. If you had a gospel plow, you have to hold the plow with both hands. If you hold it with one hand, the mule will take you all across the field. So, you have to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets you. So, I think some of you may be saying, I'm going to be just like Mama Cameron because she's gone now and somebody got to take her place. I got to serve you notice. You need to lay something down before you can pick this thing up. You got to lay this thing down. Oh yeah, you can do it. But you got to lay something down before you pick this thing up. And if you're planning on going to the club, lay it down. I can't do nothing for her. I can just tell her story. But I can preach to you right now. You got to pick up this thing. But you got to lay something down. God wants to change your life. I didn't know that the Holy Ghost is a key part of success. Because when you go before the bosses and the, and the billion dollar companies, if you're able to hold your peace and you're able to have love and you're able to have self-control, you can get the job. See, 
everybody trying to figure out a trick in this world. It ain't no trick. The kingdom of God will work anywhere. I heard that he's a root out of dry ground. That means that anywhere I go, he is there also. Somebody say he is there also. I'm not going to be here for you long. But I began to look at this. She was an awesome encourager. And when I, I, I began to think, I said one day I was sitting here getting ready to get up and preach. And somebody said that, oh, Mama Cameron sent her tie. I thought the doctor said that she's supposed to be gone. I love everybody here. And I love all my members. But I need 50 more Mama Camerons. Stiff neck. They jumped on him and started biting him. 
but his eyes was fixed on something. See, when your eyes are fixed, the world can be fading away. But when you're fixed on Jesus, when you're fixed, tell somebody I'm fixed. His eyes was fixed on something. And while they was biting on his body, he had his eyes looking towards heaven. He said, behold, I see the son of man sitting on the right hand of the father. Nobody have gained that description, but Stephen spoke it out loud. They said, wait a minute, the son of man, he just left here not too long ago, so he must be sitting on the right hand of the Father. But he said, all the sudden, Jesus got up. <laughs> Tell somebody he got up. <laughs> May the works I done speak for me. He said, your works shall follow you. He going to judge you by all the deep done in your body. I know a bunch of you ask, well, what about grace? Grace empowers you to do what God told you to do the first time. Because you won't have to show a report when you get to the white throne judgment, somebody gonna have to show a report. And if don't make Jesus instead of getting up, turn the face and say, depart from me. You gonna have to show a report. How many of you, the works that you have done, I ain't gonna say your whole life, just this week, will make Jesus get up out of his seat. many of you have done some things in the last day that'll make Jesus put his hands on the armrest to get up out of his seat how many of you have said something on the way to the funeral to make Jesus sit down and cross his legs You can live the life that Mama Cameron has displayed for you. When you get ready to lay down, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Just buckle your spiritual safety belt. what to do I didn't say Paul I didn't say Peter but you have watched this woman's life and most of y'all know her better than I do and if you leave these doors the way you came I thought that it would be plum disrespectful for my grandfather to leave this church or leave this world and I act the fool shortly after he leaves. Something about me lie. Bishop, I love you. Bishop, I'll do anything. Peter. I'll lay down my life for you, Peter. But I'm going to give you a chance. They said Peter was out there fishing. And he already denied Jesus. But I can see him in his mind. If I get one more chance, I'll make this thing right. And I come to tell you today, Jesus is trying to give you one more chance. And when he looked out, somebody said, hey, that looked like Jesus over there cooking fish. And if you can get off the boat, somebody said, get off the boat.
Jesus is waiting on you. He's waiting on you. When you find out the club costs too much. Yes, sir. And the cocaine is too high. My Lord. And that man that you've been looking for don't mean you no good. And all that girl wanted is your money. There was a man that named Jesus. That you can cast all your cares on. Wait a minute. While you was yet a sinner, he died for you. somebody die for somebody before the person was brought into fruition but you need power you need power somebody say mama Cameron somebody say a little bit louder mama Cameron she done more for us the old patriarchs knew what it took her auntie, Mother Willow. Yeah. I had a busted also. Bleed now. And she opened my shirt. Yeah. And she didn't say, Do I think I can be healed? She jumped up and said, Do you believe he can do it? All she needed me to say is, Yes, I do. She took the oil. Open my shirt up. I know y'all think, ooh, y'all so out of hand. You ain't seen nothing. Took the oil. Poured it all down my body. Slapped her hands together. Blew in her hand. Like she swallowed up the oil. Sisters and just 
whatever they had, just rub them. Yes, yeah. And it would disappear. At that time, Mama would bring them to her instead of the hospital. Yes, Mama Jesse had it. All of them had that yes, miracle working power, the power of the Holy Ghost. And, and, and it was just like a live wire. It was so thick that it seemed like you could reach out and touch the Holy Ghost. It, it was. It was a live wire that, that, that would run from their body and whatever it connected with. It would heal. Yeah, yeah. Amen. We saw miracles and signs. You know what? I think the problem is Jesus said these signs shall follow them that believe. I think we're following signs, but sign. If we would do kingdom work and preach the unadulterated, uncompromising gospel, these signs will follow us. But too many looking for signs. We don't follow signs, signs follow us. Amen. It'll just happen. We get in the will of the Lord. Listen, I was just wanting to say, Pastor Willie Booth, Ella Booth, called me. And he's got a condition in his body and couldn't get a driver. So he said, he's sorry that he couldn't make it. But this is her. This is her brother. The, the, and so he, he he just wanted us, if, if anybody recorded the message or whatever, he wanted just a bit, a piece of it. But we certainly enjoyed this. Amen. Amen. God bless you, family. We pray, Brother James and Jimmy and Hazel Pearl, all of you, brothers and sisters, and the, the wives and the husbands, stay strong. We love you guys. And we're going to connect together, right? Yes. We're going to, amen, have each other's back. And we're going to make each other stout and strong. Joining together. Uniting together. Loving one another. And taking care of one another. The days ahead will be somewhat um, this dang sick. It's sad at times. But for the most part, we're going to make it right. Yeah. In unity, there's strength. Yeah. And so we're going to have one another's back. Brother Michael, we certainly enjoyed you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And all of you. Yeah. Thank God for all of these wonderful preachers. Brother Dietrich, my cousin, you are all right. Yeah. Amen. So uh, God bless you. I just wanted to tell you all that. Amen. In the hands of the ones that enjoy, give serenity your hand. Some of the best morticians, some of the best brothers in this field of work. They are wonderful. And uh, we thank the Lord for them. I thought she, at this, I thought that her body was just going out decomposed so fast, but they did a wonderful job. Amen. Yes. This is in order, right? Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, oh God. 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 Oh God, oh God